Well, welcome everybody to week three of our online program for March for the uh, alumni of the Sunshine Coast Health Center up here in Powell River, British Columbia. And this month we've been talking about is addiction primarily a biological thing? Is it a, like a disease or is it not? Is it something else? Okay. And so far uh, we got, we dealt with Alcoholics Anonymous in the big book, which is sort of wishy-washy on the idea. But basically, old Bill Wilson said, uh, well, we think there's a physical basis to it, but we're going to put all our energy into uh, uh, the idea of disease being dis-ease, right? So an, an, an uneasiness of the, uh, of the alcoholic, without the alcohol. And last week, we talked about Dr. George Valent from Harvard University Medical School, one of the most famous medical doctors of the 20th century who'd, who conducted research into alcoholism. And this week, uh, we'll talk about Dr. Nora Volkow, who heads up the National Institute of Drug Abuse, now, or NIDA. NIDA is one of two uh, what they call Institutes of Health in the United States. The Institutes of Health are uh, funded by the American uh, government, and they conduct massive amounts of research. NIDA is uh, budget I think is like a billion dollars like it's just huge it mind you it's the smaller one of the two institutes the alcohol institute actually has an even bigger budget but we'll deal with Nora Volkow because uh, it's a remarkable thing but whenever any journalist wants any information on drugs they go to Nora Volkow okay that's why uh, you see so much of the same thing. When I read Time Magazine, or I read Newsweek, or I watch a television program, it's almost guaranteed the information is coming from NIDA and Dr. Nora Volkow. And I've even seen Dr. Volkow on television, geez, at least a half a dozen times. And I see her name quoted all over the place. So whenever you see anything that a journalist wrote, it's almost guaranteed they've gone to Dr. Volkow. Anyway, Dr. Volkow, who now uh, runs NIDA, is very clear. And in her scholarly work and the articles she publishes, uh, she very clearly says addiction is a disease. But it's not like a disease like diabetes or heart disease or something like that. She's very specific and she calls it a brain disease, okay? And she makes this argument based on all this research and as we all agree that there's a physical basis in the brain for this. And she says, because it is a disease that we will in fact find a cure because it is primarily this biological thing. So all we have to do is somehow fix the biology of the brain how we're going to do that, maybe through medication, maybe through gene splicing, right, and playing around with the genetics somehow. But anyway, we will, according to Dr. Volkow, cure addiction because it is a disease, right? And like all other diseases, we'll work on it until we get it right. So she's uh, quite convinced of this and, and very publicly makes these statements too. Okay, so this is Dora, Dr. Norvalka, and she's an expert in neuroscience. She has a, that's her, she has a PhD, not an MD. And she got her doctorate in studying the brain, how the brain works, the effects of drugs on the brain, all that. And she's made tremendous contributions to the field. Very, very brilliant woman. Okay, so here's another expert who's coming out this time, unlike Dr. Balin, but this time very publicly and very clearly, even in the academic work for, meant for all those other PhDs, and saying it is a brain disease. And in fact, because it is a disease, it's not a debatable issue, unlike Dr. Balin, that we will in fact find a cure. So, there's more information for you on the experts. And next week, uh, we'll look at some ideas that uh, say, well, maybe it's not a disease. But anyway, we'll deal with that next week. So, see you then.